News and notes. All right, Daniel Jones missed practice. They're at Buffalo on Sunday night. Joe Burrow says his calf's getting better and better. Anthony Richardson could be out four to eight weeks. And actually, Shane Steichen? Steichen, right? Steichen. Steichen. Damn it. It's like I thought, but then I thought you guys corrected me earlier, but I guess I had said Steichen earlier and it was like, okay, anyway, he didn't rule out missing the rest of the season. I don't think, you know, he didn't rule it out, but let's just say four to eight weeks for Richardson. Uh, Deshaun Watson missed practice and Derek Carr practiced in full. I'm not sure if you guys got a chance to see Derek Carr, but a noticeable improvement from week four to week five. Certainly not going to say he's all the way back, but all the numbers in terms of his deep passes, his A dot, a different quarterback than he was in week four. Definitely encouraging. Just throw it to Alave. You know, I didn't know this until I went and I watched it this this morning. Uh very two very close, you know, almost big plays for Alave. The last throw of the game that Carr made was so close to being a 30 yard touchdown to Chris Alave. Uh they just missed on it. So I, yeah. I do yeah. wonder, like, what's the ideal in their mind split between Olave, Camara, and Michael Thomas in targets? Yeah. Um, seventy-five percent to Kamara. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, look, it's probably, you know, and then factoring in the other guys, Shahid and oh yeah, Shahid can't yeah, the tight ends and uh, yeah. pro- probably. I still think slanted in the favor of Olave. I hope I, that's that's kind of like I think it's difficult in a certainly not a high volume pass offense. Maybe a, maybe an average volume pass offense. If you are not dominating targets and your quarterback is Derek Carr, I'm not sure Olave can live up to his ADP in that scenario. Well, I think he was the- before the shoulder injury and Kamara coming back. That's the thing. Like. Right. Those, right. Those, but Carr only games. had three targets last week. Carr threw tw- like Carr threw 26 passes. They won 34 to nothing. And he threw 33 in week one. He threw 36 in week two. He threw 37 in week four. I don't remember the game script against Green Bay in week three. Uh, but he threw only 18 passes there. I don't know that they're so run heavy. But no, I said I said maybe average. It's not gonna be high. Uh-huh. Like it's be- between low and average. And there are at least there's definitely four guys getting at least four targets every week. I would think. Yeah. Uh, well, I think you know the good thing with Olave is a lot of his targets are are big plays, right? Right. He, he makes up for it in that regard. Uh, running back Devon Achan is on IR. Jeff Wilson has been he's eligible to come off. He's back at practice. He's got three weeks to be activated. Is there any other Dolphins running back that we should be adding right now? Wilson is 72% rostered. I guess if you're desperate, <laughs> I would probably look at Ahmed first because at least he's been used a little bit in tandem in the first couple of games, or at least d- definitely week one. Um, I think he got hurt in week one. But no, like we have two teams on a bye and we're getting a little bit healthier at the position. Okay. Yeah, I I think in a in a and this is just really for dynasty, but in a deep dynasty league, Chris Brooks has some interest because I think he he could like Mostert Wilson have significant injury problems, and he ha- Brooks has a lot more potential upside than Ahmed. Ahmed would still get more carries, but Brooks could be the eight carry sixty yard guy. Right. So I don't know the timeline for Devon A. Chan, and I'm not sure how you guys are feeling about that, but. <laughs> Again, it's another one where they didn't rule out a very lengthy absence here. Do you? Do we have any idea how long HM might miss? I think it's been very vague, so you have to just go with the four games and then hope that he's he's back. But you know, if the Dolphin season continues to go the way it goes, they're going to, I'm sure, try and be cautious with him and make sure if he is coming back, that he's coming back for a playoff run. Yeah, it, I I think if you're under 500, you've got to sell. Uh, Javante Williams is off the injury report, so he will probably play tonight, and that means avoid them all. I would try to. I, I still like McLaughlin the best, but they're all flex at best options. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I I agree. I just I could thought you had disappeared. You don't want to know why I'm disappearing. So Saquon Barkley was limited at practice. So well, now he got to know. <laughs> Well, you know, I still have a bit of a runny nose, so okay, I attend to that. Jonathan Taylor is going to get more work this week. We'll talk about that game. Jameer Gibbs missed practice. 
Arizona running back Keontae Ingram was limited with a neck injury. He was also limited in two practices last week, but he didn't practice last Wednesday. So Keontae Ingram may be making some progress trying to return to the fold. You could maybe pick him up. He might. He might. Like, I can't rule well, out if he plays. You saw the report yesterday, right? No. Uh, they listed him first on their depth chart. Oh, okay. So I, we know how depth charts go, but <laughs> that sent a lot of people into a panic who all spent all this fab on uh, DeMarcado. But yes, I, I think it is worth adding Keontae Ingram just in case. If if Ingram plays, I think it's almost like a Broncos situation this week where you don't really want to start either one of them. I would expect Ingram to have more carries, but I, but I think DeMarcado would probably be the receiving back and may have more yards. Uh, Baltimore running back Keaton Mitchell practiced in full. See if that ends up mattering. Rashawn Johnson still in the concussion protocol. Khalil Herbert missed practice, but he has not been put on IR yet. That's good. Miles Sanders missed practice with a new injury, a shoulder injury. No indication that he's going to miss time, but obviously Miles Sanders is beat up. And they have uh, a bye next week, right? Uh, I am not sure. I'll check. I think so. DK Metcalf missed practice with injured ribs. He'll play through that. T. Higgins was limited. That's great news. Get on the field, T. Higgins. Amon St. Brown is a good chance to play. Mike Evans coming off the bye. Missed practice with a hamstring injury. Uh, uh, so that's not good. Uh, Zay Jones missed practice. Tank Dell missed practice. He's probably almost certainly not going to play Tank Dell. Uh, Devontae Adams missed practice. Jacoby Myers was limited with a wrist injury. I'm sure we're expecting both of them to play. Two Patriots wide receivers, Juju and Demario Douglas, are in the concussion protocol. Chris Olave, don't forget he had that toe injury. He was limited with a toe injury. And Marquise Brown missed practice with an illness. Greg Dulcich is questionable. Travis Kelsey is expected to play. Cole Komet was limited with a hamstring injury. Darren Waller missed practice, but he said it was a rest day. He should play. On the offensive line, Laramie Tunsil, left tackle for the Texans. He missed practice, but he should be fine. He played every snap in week five. Baltimore could be getting their right tackle. Morgan Moses back. He was limited in Wednesday's practice. Jacksonville guard Walker Little missed practice. I mentioned Seattle left tackle Charles Cross practice. Uh, two Rams starting linemen, uh, Joe Noteboom and Kevin Dotson. Although Kevin Dotson, I don't think he was originally a starter. I think he's a backup who was come a starter. Uh, who actually had some pretty interesting comments about the difference between Mike Tomlin and uh, Sean McVay. He's got traded from Pittsburgh to the Rams. So anyway, they both missed practice. Um, okay, other news. Carolina could be getting cornerback Dante Jackson back because their best corner. Jeffrey Simmons, Tennessee defensive tackle. He missed practice with a shoulder injury. He played through the injury last week. Their run defense wasn't great. Uh, Chicago safety Eddie Jackson was limited. Seattle safety Jamal Adams is going to play. Dar- some, some key interesting uh, injury notes for the Eagles. Darius Slay missed practice. Starting corner, but Nicobe Dean, linebacker, and Fletcher Cox, defensive lineman, they were limited. Uh, Detroit corner, uh, de- uh, defensive back Brian Branch missed practice, and that's pretty much all. Oh, Arizona safety Jalen Thompson, he missed practice, and that's just only better news for Matthew Stafford.